Hi, I'm Scott Landers. I work with John's Well Service, and today we are inspecting a 16-foot deep gallery well. So the point of uh, most well tests and inspections are uh, A, to make sure that you have a well that produces enough water to supply a, a household. Uh, B would be to make sure that the equipment is working properly. Um, and probably the biggest mystery about how we tell if a well is producing water or not is by the use of a uh, static water measuring uh, device. The static watering measuring device um, is 16 gauge wire that's been uh, marked every 25 feet uh, that has been put on a, a reel uh, with a probe attached to it, which is simply copper rod that has the wire wound around it. Using a Simpson ohm meter, this will tell us when the probe is in water. One end of the meter is hooked directly to ground. The other end of the meter is hooked to the end of the probe. When the probe touches the water, a continuity loop is completed to ground, verifying that the bottom of the probe is in the water. When you pull the water, pull the probe out of the water, the continuity loop is lost and the ohm meter will go to infinity. And that is how we know when the static water level in the well has either reached equilibrium or is still in its pump down state. Right now with this gallery well, the static water level has reached, reached equilibrium and has reached a pumping level of about 10 feet. Meaning that the 11 gallons per minute that we're pumping out of the well is either more or the same amount of water that's coming into the well. And now that we've tested the well, by state code, we are supposed to chlorinate uh, using a formula that the state has provided with us. With water treatment um, for houses that are being serviced by a well um, can be very complicated. Uh, there can be lots of different components. Um, some of your basic components are going to be water softeners, sediment filters, UV sterilizers, and reverse osmosis drinking systems. We do a visual inspection on that to, to see if everything is working, and then the, the system is tested through um, water quality analysis. Many houses will have an RO spigot at the kitchen sink. Um, these are not always reverse osmosis spigots. Some of them are just filtered water, since we know that there is a RO filter system down in the mechanical space. We know this is a reverse osmosis spigot. For testing the water softener, we get a after sample and a before sample and compare the results and that tells us if the water softener is operating correctly. Bacteria samples need to be taken from a faucet that is a non-swivel faucet because bacteria can grow in the swivel of the faucet and give us false sampling results. So we always take a sample from the bathroom spigot since it is usually a non-swivel faucet. So the water sampling um, that we've done today will go back to our shop where we can test uh, basic water quality um, issues. Um, probably one of the biggest ones that people uh, who are buying a house with a well are concerned about is going to be bacteria, um, E. coli and coliform bacteria. Um, that testing is going to vary from state to state, whether it's done by county, state, or a private laboratory. Um, in our situation, uh, we have the capabilities of uh, doing the tests at our shop. Um, the other testing is going to be basic water quality issues, uh, which are usually hardness, um, iron, pH, uh, TDS, and those are going to be your biggest uh, water quality uh, issues when you are 
living on a well.